हरि ओम वी जनरली आस्क द क्वेश्चन वाई बाल विहार वाई डज चिन्मा मिशन हैव दिस प्रोग्राम कॉल्ड बाल विहार सो इफ यू अंडरस्टैंड द वर्ड इट सेल्फ एज इट हैज बीन कॉइंड एज इट हैज बीन नेम्ड इट इज बाल विहार बाल द किड्स विहार a place a platform for the unfoldment of the hidden talent as well as the the great potential in our own kids in our next generation sometimes we tend to mispronounce it and we say it is bal vihar the moment you say bal vihar it is a sanskrit word or you understand it in hindi bal in hindi means hair so you probably will find people who are bald trying to grow hair and that also can become uh, bal vihar but it has to be pronounced right when we say it is a uh, platform for kids then it becomes bal vihar bal or balaka wherein they, they it's an opportunity for them to uh, grow and find their potential growing up in a hindu community growing up as a hindu <clears throat> we never found it a necessity to grow in a structured way of understanding our own religion usually we learn our religion through the process of osmosis whatever the elders have done we implicitly follow copy and start living our life accordingly but when we move away from our roots away from our culture away from our traditions into a far away land whether it be in us or australia or wherever other than india we find to find our roots becomes difficult because the children are growing in two different environments two different cultures and what i have observed these kids they are pretty ingenious when they are home they behave talk as if they are indian when they are out there they behave as if they are american and sometimes when i catch these kids talking bit among themselves i can't follow their english because it is a completely an english uh, which is uh, followed by those who have grown up here born and brought up here in this country but the moment they turn around and see me that i am observing them and they end up talking to me it's in that typical indian accented thick accent english so the kids have this capacity to understand both cultures accommodate to these both cultures and live accordingly but before they start adjusting and adapting to these two cultures it is necessary for them to understand where we come from what our value system is what our traditions are customs are what our religion stands for hence therefore gurudev way back in 1950 when he started this chinmaya mission movement which later assumed the name of chinmaya mission chinmaya meaning chit meaning knowledge maya that which is focused on spreading knowledge so in chinmaya mission we take it as our priority to spread the essence of hindu knowledge to our own fellow hindus so that we understand our religion better so in the platform of balavihar what we focus on is from kindergarten to 12th grade we have divided the entire hindu philosophy into nuggets that the kid at that age can grasp understand assimilate and practice in their day to day life hinduism is so vast that it is not a possibility to probably teach every aspect of hinduism to the kid but what we are essentially trying to do is introduce them on the right note that this is what is hinduism later whenever their spirituality whenever their inner calling uh, taps on them they exactly know where to find what to find so we are like introducing them um i remember when i was introduced to uh, reading a dictionary uh, it is quite impossible for us to memorize the entire thing 
but what we are taught is how to read through the dictionary how to find the word how to find its meaning how to find its synonyms how to find its antonyms so we are taught how to read through a dictionary similarly these 13 years helps the kid to understand the structure of hinduism understand the value system understand where to find for further research and understanding so there's an introduction to hinduism and these 13 years probably we will not see the impact of what they are learning immediately when do they see it my experience with our next generation has taught me that we have to have as parents as their well wishers have lot of patience because we cannot see the impact of what they are learning immediately instantly because as long as they are living under your roof under your protected umbrella we will not see these value system take an impact and shape their lives it's when they step out they have to stand on their own feet they have to create their own roots it is at that point that this what they have learnt in 13 years forms a beautiful structure in their lives and i am more than proud to say that these kids take the right course in their life and that is what balavihar helps so that their future is reconciled comprehensively understood and majestically lived we try to invest for our kids for our next generation in assets in stocks in various things that we think are valuable so that we not just give them education but also provide for for the rainy days as they say it but i think the greatest gift that we can give to our next generation is not as to what they have to think but rather how they have to think how they have to structure themselves how they have to mold themselves how they can pick themselves up if there is something that overwhelmingly pulls them down that support system which can be ingrained in them right since their young age so that at a later part of their life they unfold to be a great hindu but that is not the ideal the ideal is through these hindu values they become the best human being so that they give productive constructive and positive output benefiting for themselves as well as for the society ano bhadra kratavo yantu vishvatah may our minds be open to invite all good thoughts from all directions so that we flourish and with our growth the entire society benefits sarve bhavantu sukhina may all be happy may all establish themselves in this peace and happiness that is the goal that is the motto may us as parents lead being the ideal and may us as the kids learn looking at our ideal and molding our lives this is the intent of bala vihar may gurudev's blessings may the entire guru parampara's blessings in our self unfoldment help us every step of our way hari om tat sat